coats. 20 past two. That's my working week done. As far as I'm concerned, they've had enough out of me this week. It's Friday the 14th, it's 20 past two. Uh, as you can see, I'm already changed. Let's go out fishing. I need to get the van emptied. Oh, that's much better. Right. Oh, and as you can see, it is slinging it down. Right then. Whew. 20 minutes start to finish. 20 to 2, let's go. Oh, some hot dogs, road snacks. Welcome back. I thought I'd do the video slightly differently this week. Some of you noticed last week that uh, the footage was slightly old. It was only a couple of weeks old. Um, it wasn't, you know, January, February, like some suggested, but uh, but yeah, it certainly wasn't from the weekend before I posted it. The reason being, I'm just stacked out at the minute. What we work with, uh, with home life, with, you know, commitments and stuff. I'm struggling to get out, to be honest. Well, I'm not struggling to get out, so I'm out. I'm obviously on the way out today. Uh, last week, I'd had a pretty busy week at work. Friday afternoon, or Friday in general, it was just red hot. I think it was about 32 degrees. I looked at the traffic, I looked at the weather. I thought, you know what? I can't be bothered spending two hours in the heat, in the van, to drive to a beach, to be surrounded by a load of idiots. Um, well, idiots are probably a bit harsh, but be surrounded by a load of people uh, and then catch a dogfish so I sacked it off and yeah last week's video was uh, from about three or four weeks before over when we went over to see Sarah's mum and dad at, uh, at Winthorpe near Skegness so I thought I'd do the video this way just to give a bit more detail as to how much effort or what it takes is probably the best way. I'm not going to call it effort. Um, but yeah, just to show what it takes to uh, for me to put videos together. So if you're new to the channel, I've picked possibly the worst hobby to have in sea fishing because I live right smack in the middle of the country. Depending on where you want to fish, an hour and a half, two hours, three or four hours away from the sea. So, so I spend my weeks watching all the, the catch reports on Facebook and Instagram. And I spend the time while I'm sat on my laptop looking at tide tables, at weather charts, at traffic reports, all that sort of stuff. And funnily enough, currently sat in traffic and Google Maps is saying it's an hour and a half delay. I put a post on the community channel the other week asking for suggestions for marks to fish. In fact, I'm going to turn the engine off because we're going nowhere anytime soon. Um, so yeah, I put a post on asking for recommendations on marks to fish within roughly about two hours of Derby. My local spot, if you want to call it that, is the Holderness Coast. Uh, it takes me anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours to get to a mark on, on the Holderness Coast, on the East Coast. Mostyn, Liverpool, usually about two hours. It's just popped up on Google Maps saying it's four and a half hours now. So. I gambled this week. I'll put a couple of the tide charts in now that I look through. Um, so as you'll see, low tide is at about 11 p.m. tonight on the Holderness coast, which for me is no good because I could have got up there for, well, I finished at 20 past two, so I could have been up there and fishing for half past four-ish, um, five o'clock, which basically means you're fishing it all the way from high water all the way down to low. Personally, I hate chasing the tide down a beach. Um, I'm not a massive caster, so for me to cast out and all of a sudden the tide's receded 20 yards, I'm not a fan. Um, so it's not my favourite thing to do. So the west coast is where I was heading. High tide tonight's at about half past 10. So that would have been perfect. I could have got up there for let's say 5 o'clock, fished it 4 or 5 hours up, a couple hours down and then headed home. Um, as you'll see, I'll put some screenshots now of Google Maps when I came to leave and it was showing that to get to Cleethorpes was about three and a half hours um, to get to Prestatin where I'm heading is was three hours so I was hoping the traffic wouldn't be bad, as bad it was saying there was a lot of delays because of accidents etc etc um, I was hoping that those delays were going to clear and the you know the roads were going to reopen this however was not on Google Maps anyway hopefully We'll get through this in some sort of reasonable time. Unfortunately, I've took the uh, I took the angle grinder out of the back of the van when I cleaned out. Otherwise, I'd have probably just locked it all in this Armco barrier and 
opt across the central reservation because there's no way I'm sitting here for an hour and a half, two hours. Well, what better to do in traffic? Go on, Tommy lad. <laughs> well, I, I'll give you a, I'd probably just as stoked. Go on, Tommy lad. Well done, mate. Well done. I've been safe for three quarters of an hour now and still not moving, so what a better way to spend what could be all night, to be honest, other than uh, catching up on, on other YouTube channels. I've been sat here for an hour now, but I thought I may as well, again, if you watch one of the videos the other week, I ended up having to chop off a load of braid. So, been in a tackle box, got out of the van, been in the back, got the tackle box out because I still haven't had time to replace that either so may as well make use of the time I was sat here doing it all. Hold the press, no sooner did I say that, we're moving, we're moving! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh no, we're going about 50 yards. Yeah, no. <laughs> Crocs. Crocs coming out handy once again. Knitting needle. Bit of pressure between your feet. So you need to make sure that you've got some nice pressure on your line when you're reeling it onto the onto the reel. <laughs> Tell you, engineers, creating solutions, pal. Well, at least if we ever make it out of here, and I've got 300 meters of fresh 40 pound braid. Now I just need to sign a shock leader. Well, that 100 yards we've moved it just means I've got no signal now, so I can't even watch YouTube. So it's going to have to be jukebox, isn't it? There'll be peace when you are done. Sweet cherry pie. May the devil in Oklahoma, he knew who I was. What do you think brought you the old D's, Easy E's, Ice Cubes, and DOC? I'm an old man now, can't do nothing. Well, no shit. Fucking delay is possible. Luckily, we've only got a mile left. Only a mile left till we actually get to the roadworks that's causing all this shit. I tell you what, I hate the A50. I think it's the worst road in the country. Concrete road, who thought concrete road would be a good idea? Driving along it all the time. And now I've sat on it for three hours. Whoever, whoever manages the A50 needs to take a long walk off a very short pier. What a waste of four and a half hours. It took me 20 minutes, well, 24 minutes to get back. It was bang on half six when I finally got to the roundabout where I could get off. Google was saying that there was another, there was a bump on the M6 and then a bump on the A55 as well. So it was gonna be half past, uh, half past eight by the time I got there, which would have given me about an hour to high water, two hours down, two and a bit hour drive back, get back at two half two, three a.m. Um, for th three hours, two and a half, three hours fishing, just not worth it for me. So, uh, yeah, I'm back home. I've ordered it on my nose, I'm gonna go and eat away my sorrows. So, apologies, possibly the world's worst fishing video. Yeah, we'll try again next week, see where we end up. Um, I'll interrogate Google Maps a bit more. Um, huh. Shut up, Google, you're useless. Uh, we'll try again next week. I'll, I'll have a look at the tides. I'll do the usual stuff and see uh, and who knows where we end up. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and tight lines.